Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Special welcome to all of our members at theyogamat.com and to everybody else that's watching back on YouTube. Uh, go ahead and head over to Matt. We got a power yoga practice that we're gonna work through today and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, come on up to the top of your mat. Bring the big toes together, heels out to the side just a little bit. And then let's go ahead and find that deep breathing. So you take your hands to center and drop your gaze to your fingertips. And breathing in and out the nose. I'm just trying to get the air to rush against the back of the throat. So we'll make a little bit of noise as you get this going. Might sound like ocean waves. Let's relax the shoulders. Just a couple more rounds of breath here and then we'll get going. And as you exhale, relax your arms. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, hands reach down. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, stepping to a high push up. And draw your navel in here, lower down, hover, chaturanga. Upward dog, roll to the tops of your feet, and then downward facing as you exhale. And so I've got the feet hip width here, hands shoulder width. And you may want to pedal the feet to get a little bit more stretch there into your calves here as we're warming up. So you can do that on your own if you like. Just kind of go back and forth a couple times. And then taking the awareness to your hands and your shoulders, get the hands shoulder width apart. Trying to press your palms down into your mat. And then both heels starting to reach down. Bend your knees, look forward, stepping the feet up. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, fold right back down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to plank and chaturanga. Upward dog, inhale. Downward facing, exhale. So feel free to get into the calves a little bit more there if you'd like. Just try to broaden the shoulders here. And then your gaze, your drishti. And taking it to one spot on your mat, right back between the feet. And one more deep breath here, both heels pressing down. Bend the knees, look forward, step the feet up again. Inhale, look up, exhale, fold. Inhale, come back up, reach. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step, or you might want to hop back this time, lower down. Upward facing, and downward dog. And bend the knees, look forward, step the feet up again. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, back up. Exhale, forward fold. We're going to do another quick one like that. Lengthen. Exhale, step or hop back, chaturanga. Upward facing, inhale. Downward facing, exhale. Let's take a breath in. And exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Step or hop your feet up. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, back up. Exhale, forward fold. And you can take this last one on your own. And counting five deep breaths when you get to that downward dog or taking a little rest in child's pose there on your mat if you need it.
so whenever you're finished, we'll stay here at the top of the mat. We're going to try to keep that rhythm going with the breath. So we've been building it up over the last five sun salutation A's that we did. Again, we want to keep that going. And bring the feet all the way together. Bend your knees. Come into chair pose, Utkatasana. And as you exhale, straighten your legs, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or hop back with your elbows bent, lower. Inhale to your back bend. Downward facing, exhale. And then let's take a big step forward with your right foot. We'll pivot the left heel down. Inhale, warrior A. And so first round here, a little bit slower. We're going to hold for a few rounds of breath. And warrior A, your hips are... You know, roughly squaring off here toward the front of your mat. And your knee is stacking on top of ankle. And you have your back heel pressing down into the floor. Let's take one more breath in. And then as you exhale, release your hands to the floor. Step to a high push-up and lower. Inhale. Exhale. Change to the other side. Left foot forward. Inhale, reach both arms overhead, warrior A. Again, you want to take your gaze up towards your hands, and you might want to work with your hands shoulder width apart, or you might find that you like bring your palms together. Well, both of those are fine. You can take which one you like. And with that next exhale, release the hands to the floor. Step the left leg back, lower down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, press it back. And let's try to keep pressing your mat away from you and pressing your palms into the floor. You want to think about creating more length here on the inhale. And then on the exhale, we'll try to reach the heels closer down. And bend your knees, look forward, step or hop the feet up again. Inhale, exhale down. Bend your knees, we'll come back to chair. And as you exhale, straighten your legs, fold. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step or hop back, low push up, chaturanga. Upward dog, inhale. Downward facing, exhale. Good right foot to warrior A. Inhale, reach the arms. And then release, exhale, hands to the floor, step to plank, lower down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, take it back. Change to the left side. Inhale, reach the arms. And release, hands down, left leg back, lower to a hover. Inhale, look up. Exhale, press it back. Remember, you can stop, take a little rest in child's pose at any point that you need to. And just breathing in and out the nose. Take one more breath in here. And then as you exhale, step your right foot between the hands again. Inhale, reach warrior A. And as you exhale, just open to warrior B. So you may have to step that left foot a little bit further back, just so you get a comfortable stance here with the feet. With your arms, reach them out long, try to relax through your shoulders. And then look right over to that front middle finger. As you exhale, reverse your warrior, left arm down, right arm up. And then releasing, cartwheel the hands to your mat, step to plank. Again, flow through that vinyasa. And then from downward dog, step your left foot forward. Warrior A, reach. Warrior B, exhale. 
And navel drawing in here. We'll keep that core active throughout class. And lifting through the inner edge of that back ankle as you start to lower down a little bit further. So not only are we working the quad here, see if we can get a little stretch to the inner thighs. As you exhale, take your reverse warrior, right arm down, left arm up, and releasing hands to the floor. Take that left leg to plank, lower. Inhale, and exhale. So again, let's pause here, take another five breaths. Your rest can be child's pose if you need it, or if you just want to hang out here in Downward Dog. And wherever you work, and keeping a rhythm going there with the breath. And let's use that next exhale to come into a crescent lunge on the right side. So big step forward with that right foot. Inhale, lift the arms up. And let's interlace the fingers, turn the palms to the ceiling. So your legs, again, front knee on top of ankle, like in the warrior's left heel, is way up off of the floor. And then you want to try to tilt your tailbone down and draw the navel in and add just a very little small back bend here. So reach the arms up, let the hips lower down, and then the arms can start to go just a little bit further back Letting your gaze follow the hands. And then as you inhale, separate your hands shoulder width. And as you exhale, take a twist, hands to center. We'll hook the left elbow toward the outside of that right leg. And then you can press your palms together. And twist, look over to the right shoulder. Then if you'd rather work through a straight arm version here, uh, you can take that left hand to the pinky side, or if that's a little bit too much, Maybe it messes with your balance. You can take it to the big toe side. Give yourself plenty of space there. Let's take one more breath here. And exhale, release. Take the hands to the floor. Step to plank, lower down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, send it back. Now let's go through the other side. Big step forward with that left foot. Then lift the right heel and then come up to crescent lunge. Good. Interlace fingers, palms to ceiling. And modified version of this could be uh, low lunge if you need to rest here. Uh, you could take low lunge and just drop that right knee down to the floor. And if the leg's lifted, try to keep it just as strong as you can. Flex your quad. And then again, keep looking to one spot here to help keep your balance. Now let's separate the hands. And then as you exhale, we'll take that twist. So I like doing a fist here with the bottom hand. That makes it a little bit easier on the wrist. So you can take that version if you want to, or Perhaps you worked through the straight arm version on the other side and you want to just even it out here. Let's take one more breath here. Open the chest. And exhale, releasing. Take the hands to the floor. Step to plank and flow through your vinyasa again. And from your downward dog, let's walk the hands back to meet the feet. Let's relax here and ragdoll for a few breaths. And feet about hip width, and then one knee, bend the other. Let's let the hips sway side to side a few times. Then settling back in center, bend your knees a little bit more, and then grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Take a breath in, look up, exhale, fold forward. 
So let's make sure quads are flexing and navel's drawing in. I'm trying to get the elbows to bend toward the side. With your next exhale, bend the knees a little bit more, and then step on your hands. Take a breath in, look up. Exhale, lean forward, and then broaden the shoulders. Try to bend the elbows toward the side. And if it doesn't bother your back, chin toward your chest. And you can release your hands, take a breath in, look up. Exhale, hands to hips, chin to chest. Inhale, slowly come back up. And release, step the feet together, hands to your heart. And go ahead and turn around, face the long edge of your mat. So we'll go about one leg's distance apart. And your feet parallel with the edges of your mat. Toes in, heels pressing out to the side should get you there. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, follow your hands down till they touch your mat. Another breath in, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Let's relax your head, your hands, elbows, shoulder width apart. And just breathing there to the stretch of the back of the legs. And walk the hands forward, look up, inhale. Exhale, hands to your hips, chin to your chest. Inhale, slowly come back up. Take a little back bend here, squeeze the glutes, hips forward, look up. Go ahead and interlace the hands behind you. And on the exhale, fold forward again. So you can rock the shoulders from side to side a few times here. Just trying to find the balance even in the feet. And take a breath in, slowly come back up. And release, hands to your hips. Let's open the arms. And then interlace the hands behind you. Slide the hands down again, look up. Exhale, forward fold. So, <clears throat> let's just take one more breath in like this. And then as you exhale, release your hands to the floor, peace fingers toward your big toes. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold down. So crown of the head down toward your mat. Let's try to broaden the shoulders and then see if we can get the elbows bending out to the side. And take another breath in, look up. Exhale, hands to hips, chin to your chest. Inhale, slowly come back up. And open your arms, bend the knees, step the feet together, and then turn around facing the top of your mat again. And let's take a vinyasa, inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step, or you can hop it back, lowered to hover. Upward dog, inhale. Downward facing, exhale. Come back to warrior A, right foot. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, warrior B. And then inhale, straighten your right leg, flex your quad. Exhale, triangle. Reach with your right hand. And then you can let it drop down to your shin, to your thigh. You go to the floor, you're trying to work on the outside of that leg. And we'll keep reaching that left arm up, spread the fingers wide, pulling that left hand back. And 
And with your next exhale, let's take revolve triangles. We'll take the left hand to the floor close to the foot. The right hand thumb is going to hook to the hip. Let's start to roll that hip back and reach the right arm up. And you can bend that front knee a little bit if there if you need to. If it's too much to get the hand to a floor or to a block. Uh, but you do want to try to keep your back leg straight and your heel pressing into your mat to help with your balance. And on the exhale, look down, release the hands to the floor. We'll bend that knee slightly, take a breath in, look up. And then as you exhale, fold over your right leg. So we're trying to stretch that hamstring out. So we'll keep the quad active. And then if you want, you can begin to walk the hands a little bit further forward here. Nose down toward the knee, or just take your gaze towards your foot. Now with your next exhale, bend that knee more. Step to a high push-up and lower down. Upward facing inhale, downward dog, exhale. Left foot to warrior A. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, open out. Inhale, straighten the leg. And then exhale, triangle pose on this side. Let's try to lean the back away from your legs. And finding your balance even from the pinky to the big toe side of that left foot. And then exhale, take revolve. So we'll probably shorten that distance a little bit there. Reach the left arm up whenever you're ready. And just sticking with that deep breath. And with your next exhale, taking the hands to the floor. Another breath in, look up. Exhale, fold down. And so start to deepen the breath here a little bit more if you can. And inhaling about to a, a count of five. So inhale for about five seconds or so if you can. And then exhaling for the same count. Take a breath in, look up. Exhale, plant the hands, can step to plank, lower down. Inhale, and exhale. And then go ahead and come through to seated. Take both legs straight out in front. And so you want to internally rotate your thighs toward one another, flex the feet. Inhale, the arms up. Exhaling, fold, reach down for the big toes. Inhale, look up again. Exhale, fold forward. I'm just trying to relax your shoulders. And keeping the legs straight or having a little bit of a bend in the knees if you need it. Remember, as we go through all of these uh, yoga poses, you don't want to do anything that's, that's ever going to cause you pain. That's, that's your sign to, to back off a little bit, find a modification. So if this pulls on your lower back, then you can back off maybe to the shins. If you're at your feet, thumbs in front of your big toes, take a breath in, look up. Exhale, forward fold, crown of the head toward the feet. So if you've got your feet, your thumbs, you're going to try to press those big toes a little bit further forward. Head's going to relax, chin toward the chest.
And let's take a breath in, look up, exhale, come back up, and then go ahead and lie down on your back. We'll come to relaxation. We'll take the feet about to the edges of the mat, palms face up either side of the hips, and close your eyes. Come here to rest for these last few minutes. <laughs> If you've got a little bit more time that you can stay there in relaxation, then spend as long as you want. And if you're only well, got about that half hour, then we're getting pretty close to that time. And go ahead and start to work your way back up to a comfortable seated position. Thanks for practicing. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste. Good. See you next time. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that class. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to get a new short form class every week. And if you like what you see and you want to support me, go become a member at theyogamat.com. You'll get unlimited live virtual classes every week and access to our on-demand library with over 500 classes in it. Have a great day. Namaste.